happy Saturday. I do love my Saturdays, even when uh, they involve working. Um, you know, uh, I shouldn't have to tell you anymore that on Saturdays you are not going to see the glamorous me. You're going to see the working me. So anyway, um, I don't think I've ever mentioned to y'all <clears throat> that um, we have rental houses. We have um, six rental houses. Um, they're not all rented at the moment. However, um, we have two rented. We have the one I'm getting ready to show you uh, that is hopefully, um, hopefully by the end of this month, we can advertise it and get it rented. Um, we've had a contractor working on it, and I, uh, this morning I decided um, it was time for me to come over and trim some shrubs, uh, prune some shrubs that are very, very overgrown. And um, so anyway, I came over here and then I thought, well, hey, I should show y'all this. So anyway, um, this house is, well, let me turn it around so you can see it. This house, oh, I need to back up. It's a real cute house. It's a three bedroom, one bath. And it's real cute and um, contractor's been working on the outside, getting it painted and everything and it looks really nice. And um, what I decided to do was to come over and trim these shrubs, which actually, they're just way too big. They're way too close to the house. There was one on the other end of the house too. And um, <clears throat> they should be pulled out and some small ones planted. But we're not going to do that right now. We'll do that. That'll be another day's project. So anyway, this shrub was at least three feet taller than the house. So you can, I've actually already trimmed it. Um, I wish I'd have come over, oh, in February and done it. And I would have cut them back to maybe <clears throat> half their size. But anyway, I wanted to get it below um, the house and away from the wall and, and have it where it didn't obstruct that window so much. So that's what I've been doing this morning. And um, I had to, uh, as I got to working, I discovered that one of the tall branches had this in it. And so I had to investigate first to make sure there was no eggs in it or anything. And um, before I cut that branch down, but there wasn't. So anyway, that's a cute, very cute little nest. I'm going to take it home with me. Anyway, this house um, will be for rent soon. Very cute house. And I'll tell you the one thing I'm mad at the contractor about, it, because he was painting. Um, but you know how men are? He trimmed, uh, this is the other <laughs> shrub that did look like the, other, the first one. But um, they had already mutilated it so bad, I decided to cut it back to just these stumps and see what happens. Um, it looked horrible anyway, and it was still way taller than the house. Uh, so I just cut it off to stumps, and we'll see what happens with it. But anyway, I thought I'd show you this little house and tell you that we're landlords. So... Okay, it's kind of messy. You know, men just don't work like women. Um, <laughs> when I walked in here today, I was highly disappointed to see what a mess it is. But I guess once they clean up their mess, it'll actually look nice. But anyway, um, as soon as they get this cleaned up, we've got to get carpet put in. And then it'll pretty much be through. It'll be ready to be rented. This is the living room here and of course this would be the dining area and the kitchen which right now the stove and the refrigerator were in that pile of stuff that you saw in the living room and then there's a small um i'm not sure if there's a light in here or not yeah oh this is the laundry room washer dryer back door. Oh, well, let me show you this.
Real nice deck on back. Nice backyard. And I hate how clean up. I don't know. I think I'm afraid it's going to take them a month to clean up. But, you know. Anyway. <laughs> Once everything's cleaned up, it's going to be pretty nice. So, this is a nice house. I like it. Um, okay, we'll go back to the living room. Um, down the hall. Bedroom one, like I said, we got to get carpet. Bedroom two. Bedroom three. And minor things like putting the commode back on, on, on its spot. And the one bath. So anyway, it's so close to being finished and I'll be so glad when it is. Anyway, there's the refrigerator and the stove. So really, this isn't as bad as it looks. It's just when I walked in, I was expecting to see and hoping to see this wonderful ready-to-move-in house. But um, <laughs> instead, I saw this pile of stuff. Oh, and the hot water heater is sitting there. So really, I guess that's all that's there. Stove, hot water heater, refrigerator, and that door. I don't know where that door goes. But anyway... Um, I'm pleased with um, the way it looks from the outside, and um, maybe it won't be too long before we get it, are able to rent it, and then uh, that the contractors had also done their own pruning on this one, um, so it doesn't look that great from this side, but I'm hoping that... Uh, with the rain that's supposed to be coming and and uh, spring being here that um, it'll grow out and, and look pretty good quickly. Um, so anyway, that's one of our rental houses. Um, I was going to tell you that it's, uh, it's 70 degrees. It's really a nice day. It's very cloudy. Um, I need to go home and, and do some yard work real quick before the storm comes. Which says I have a storm coming. I've heard it's in Tuscaloosa. That I heard on the way over here that the on the radio they were saying this tornado been spotted, I think, in Tuscaloosa. So anyway, it's on its way here. It'll be here soon. Um, thanks for joining me on my video today. And um, I'll show you some of our other houses on another date. Bye.